Hey, this is Kevin Pereira, and this is also the sound of my voice. And uh, for the next few minutes, it's just you and me and your ears and these noises and some of my favorite sketches from G4. And I'm going to talk during them. And I hope you have a 5.1 or 7.1 surround sound setup because my voice deserves to be coming at you from all angles and all sides. The exact same way I would come at you from all angles and all sides if we were making sweet, sweet, passionate love on your living room floor right now. Oh, Twilight. Uh, cool. This originally aired, according to the on-screen graphic, on 929.09. Awesome. And let me tell you, it feels like it was two like years ago. Yeah. Not just one. You talk like you're from old history uh, we were called up to some forest in a set of hills here in Los Angeles. How There's only two or three of them. I don't know what they're named. 17. And uh, we traipsed on out, and there was a craft service table filled with uh, Lunchables and some honey-roasted almond nuts and a generator with cables leading into the forest, and that's where I went and found these two lovely folks you're acting dangerous. the hell yes. out of our Twilight parody. They're really good, and... Um, I remember seeing the girl and no, like I had yeah. seen her before and I was like, damn, she is hot. Sad. And I was like, how do I get her Facebook or maybe she's got a boyfriend and no, I don't want to be the guy that's on the set. And I try to f everything that moves oh, no. and I saw her and was just like, I would like to try to f that too. And then she was really sweet. And then I thought, oh, she's the kind of girl you want to have a relationship with. Oh, there I am. A yeah. Look at that. Timberlake hair, piercing eyes. Don't get lost in you those kids. Vampires. You don't Map them. quest can give you directions Thank out of them. You. You can fill me up, but please don't eat me. That was me acting. God, and uh, you'll watch me act right here. Here. Boom. Acting. All right. Come on. And uh, well, I'll act. I'll act my way right there. Oh, you, you didn't see it. There was a great, a great section where I act out of the frame, and it was really good. Ah, uh, time to get metal. Distended warranty in the red ring of death. I wrote this song and recorded the temp uh, track of the lyrics, which actually ended up making it into the final video because we ran out of time uh, on a whim. It was a Friday afternoon. I was out for a jog. Uh, my Xbox had red ringed, uh, hence I was actually getting physical activity instead of uh, playing Pagel and, uh, or whatever the game it was. I wasn't Pagel at the time. But. Point is, was jogging, got home, downloaded a metal track from a music library, wrote some ridiculous lyrics and sent it off. And, uh, and surprisingly, it got the green light. So I asked uh, Casey Schreiner, who's a writer on the show and also an amazing death metal guitarist uh, and a great wearer of all sorts of facial hair to be in it with me. And uh, thankfully he accepted. So he came over to my house and uh, we sat on my, uh, at that time, my apartment floor, uh, which is just not a good place to be seated um, around some celebrity stains. And he recorded some lyrics like, oh no's and his epic rant, which you'll hear in a couple seconds. And uh, we shot this in a G4 conference room. Uh, literally had about an hour, and it was myself and Mike Shaw, uh, who was also on this DVD somewhere with his voice, uh, and Casey in front of a green screen in a very cramped, very, very hot, sweaty conference room, jumping around, screaming as people outside were trying to do work and would occasionally knock on the door and ask us to, quote, keep it down. Uh, very hard to jump around and be an asshole in death metal makeup when people from E and Style are trying to do work outside of the conference room. But that was the reality. And really the video came to life when uh, Daniel Lloyd, an incredibly talented editor, uh, put it through his, uh, his passes. Uh, this was literally footage of two idiots bouncing around on green screen until he got a, got in hold, got a hold of it and uh, added all sorts of cool flames. And you, I kick an Xbox uh, at that one point and here Casey does his whammy bar, which indicates his sorrow. I love that video. That's a lot of fun. Oh, uh, Perry Grip's famous girl at the video game store. Uh, this was a two-day shoot. Uh, thankfully, the first day, which was the uh, more grueling half of the shoot, I did not have to be in because I am not sexy. So there's Olivia Munn walking into a GameStop that was closed down. Uh, there's a little after-hour shoot that they did. There's a guy peeking over a sign. There's a black man, an Asian, and a Caucasian, and there we are, half Asian. Uh, that rounds out all the ethnicity that we need. And this was, believe it or not, not taking place in a GameStop break room. No, they do not have a full jam session in there and swaying lights from the ceiling. This was actually shot on the Attack of the Show set uh, early on a Friday afternoon or Thursday afternoon. Uh, I guess the days are relevant, but there we are jamming away. Perry Grip wore an awesome mustache for this video and totally rocked it. Uh, and I was called in to, uh, to lay down some fat beats. Uh, the beats I were laying down were already on the track, so I was just kind of miming away, which was uh, frustrating because those who know me know that I enjoy playing the old drums 
So it was uh, a little unnerving playing someone else's track, but I faked it well, I believe. So I'm going to give myself credit for that. Uh, but if you kids at home have a bottle of Smirnoff or Jaeger, feel free to do a shot every time you see me in this video, and you will not be buzzed. There's one, and uh, five minutes uh, from now I'll see you in a second. Uh, Adam Jenkins, who does all the on-air graphics pretty much for Attack of the Show, all the, the segment intros and all the cool stuff, he single-handedly whipped this together and did a phenomenal job. Uh, this was Olivia shot on green screen, and uh, her eyes actually didn't shoot lasers. That was an effect. And there I was to take another shot. I was blurry in the background. That doesn't count. And now we're back to Olivia looking sexy. Uh, that man in the game store there, there was a cameo appearance by our supervising producer, Brian Tewilliger. Uh, he enjoys card games. No joke, plays him with his brother, was once apparently a professional Magic the Gathering player. Ladies, he is available. Shocker. Uh, we used a really cool... Um, I, I don't know anything. I'm not talented or smart or educated, but we use this thing. I think it's called a squiggle cam or a squibble cam, and it is a uh, like a camera lens attached to a length of tube that can be jiggled around, and you'll see it as this breakdown really kicks in. Uh, and Perry starts hitting some high notes. All the shaky cams are shot with this really cool little camera attachment. Take a shot. And uh, let's see it here. There we go. That's all this little squiggle cam. Yeah, there it is. It makes the focus change, and it just gives it a good look. And the reason that was exciting is that because uh, G4 actually spent money on this shoot, which is something that in the past the network has never done. So we had a buck seventy-five to throw this video together. Uh, that's a dollar seventy-five in industry terms, and uh, it really shines. Olivia looks sexy and ethnic. Uh, Perry, again, his mustache is charming as can be. And uh, me playing the fake drums in the background. Come on, you gotta love it. Let me do one more shot there. That was a real pleasure to work with them. They're actually professional uh, and amazing. I am neither of those things, so uh, I'm sure the pleasure was all mine. But it was a great video. We got a huge response. You can play it on a rock band now, so it was tons of fun. Uh, here we go, another walking to car sequence. Uh, if you... Look at I'm Awesomer Than You, which I believe is later on this DVD. You'll see me also walking to a car. It's my favorite, favorite shot to do. And I've never once used my real car. Actually, not true. In the original Batman sketches that we did at the old G4, my bright blue Subaru was used in a sketch. That makes me proud. I didn't get a day rate for that. That's me acting. I acted startled. Look at that. that is, man, I am so good. That line read was great. We did 40 takes of that, and every one of them sucked. But uh, Mike Shaw, who plays Batman, I don't know if I'm supposed to uh, reveal that, but I just did. Uh, he also uh, writes and directs these, uh, thereby proving that he is the most talented man uh, and most underrated man in show business. And I, I just love playing me with Batman because uh, Mike is so much fun to work with. And here we are on the rooftop of one of his friends' house in downtown Los Angeles, and here's our back and forth. Of course, I'm staff. You'd be freelance. Freelance? You need me? What about vacation time? No vacation. Christmas? No Christmas. I need to see my family. I'm your family! <laughs> I love that. I cracked up so many times when we were doing that. Y you know what? I'm sorry. We shouldn't be having this conversation because you're a freak and I'm late for dinner. Dinner? Yeah. Poor Batman. I, I love Mike's take on Batman. It's so yeah. great. He he so is figure out how to get down. still yeah. half of him is still this cape crusader that wants to be the most Wait, awesome do, do man in the history of no, ever. And then the other half is this just tortured, no, lonely no, soul who will do anything to hang out with anyone. And apparently I am the target that he's picked and sure, he just yeah. will not stop harassing me. I think we tried to actually okay, put a well, protein bar in his utility yeah. belt, but the costume didn't no, allow for it. I recall oh, yes, trying to, to fit dinner. a balance bar in there. Come have dinner. Shotgun. No, 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 no jumping. Do me a favor. Turn out the light on your way down for me. Now watch this. Okay, I think he's leapt. I've I'm turned my working. back. He is gone, but wait a minute. There we go. I that can was see you. that was 17 takes right there, by the way. 17 takes, literally. To get the cape flopping around and the door closing at the same time. And this is the uh, the next bit where we actually are at dinner. Uh, this was shot at a Marie Callender's across the seat from G across so, the street from G4. What do you do? This was shot at a Marie Callender's across the street from G4. Even better if they don't edit out me screwing up saying that the first time. Uh, that is uh, not red wine in those glasses. This was shot during the day before an attack of the show. That is a uh, uh, that is a uh, I believe it's punch. Go with punch. How do you know Kevin? 
No, I'm, it was ocean spray not, cranberry juice. See, one. these are the kind of behind the scenes uh, snippets that, that really make DVDs such a wonderful medium. Where else are you going to know that we were sipping on ocean My spray cranberry juice good. and um, cold pasta? I mean, that is. Oh, this is great. Of a skateboarder, and he's going down a rail, like really, really. Okay, okay, that's. <laughs> I love that. What? This this bit was written slightly what? differently. It didn't. From your drink. I yeah. wasn't supposed to oh. really oh, be yeah. as involved or help out no, Batman no, as much as I end up what, doing in the sketch, what, what, and I kind of like that. I kind of like that we took it this direction because clearly I'm annoyed and perturbed. And it's ruined my date, but clearly I also love Batman for some reason. I, I think I, I just get him and I try to help him like a father who's angry and disappointed with his son, but still still cares. The whole mirror thing that was a, a lot of ad lib, and this a uh, fun bit of improv there too. I might stain. That's why I have a ward. I'd like a ward. I'm not his ward! Oh, that was an overreaction. Poorly yes. acted. Whenever you're ready. Great, thank you. You know what, why don't you give it to the billionaire playboy over there? Oh, there he goes again. And in, in his place, that's, the Robin outfit, which I ended up wearing and shooting uh, in front of a green screen in a conference room yet again. High kicks, which no, exposed no, a lot of Portuguese no, upper thigh. No, 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 no. No one wants that raw footage. Ah, there it is. I didn't know we were. I didn't know it was in this one. I thought it was in the third. Me and Batman again. Conference room, green screen. A lot of this was. Uh, I mean, a lot of these sequences were written in, but but the some of the quips were uh, improv, and the fighting we just sort of figured out as we went, which was really funny. But there we go. I end up happy and on, at a sandals resort with Batman. Those were those are great. Um, Wonder Twins, don't blink or you're going to miss the improv. Can finish each other's sandwiches. No, sentences. Bamf. My favorite improv line in the history of G4. Right it's there. The uh, Olivia and I sat down at a friend's apartment the most and uh, we were playing the Wonder Twins. And uh, it was right before we were supposed to get into the scripted interview. We were just like, ah, let's banter for a little while and finish each other's sandwiches happen. People and I'm pretty proud of that. That's, that's one of the few ones that I'm proud of. I mean, it's... It's awesome. I can't believe How anybody's listening to this. I don't know. I don't know if you're you just if the like indica's that top. strong that you At feel uncompelled to move from the couch or switch audio tracks. But I'm glad you're listening to me ramble. So what happened to Gleek? Oh, he died. Uh, Gleek is dead. That is sad. I like his little pail there. That was cute. Oh yeah, and turns out that uh, bucket of his pretty important. <laughs> Solomon Grundy's on that roof. Quick, Wonder Twin. Uh, Olivia and I. Oh, that line up 300 times, just the cadence and everything else. Uh, we could not seem to activate our powers. Hey, help. So, um, yeah, you know, finding work has been a little little rough. Now, this was the shot across the street from G4. We were standing out there. We were dry humping each other, doing stretching exercises, all sorts of random stuff as cars drove by and actually did honk. Uh, probably, probably because we were positioned right outside of a kookaroo. I turn into animals. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow, that's <laughs> neat. Can you use a mop? Paul Bonanno, uh, amazing producer and writer and Shut great, up. great actor. But rocking the comb over. Best line delivery ever. Well, you especially. Yeah. You know how to use a mop? You're really good at it. <laughs> hey, uh, you guys have Casey Schreiner, the other half of Distended Warranty one? there. Because I'm just saying, every time I come in here, you guys are watching... And here we try to activate to escape. Be nice Pull the bowl closer... We uh, totally put it on the table back there, right, oh, yeah. right behind you. Oh, great! Thanks, and guys. get ready for the sitcom it. ending. Oh, uh, whenever there's brushes being played on a snare drum, you know you're about to see something funny. Boom! Yeah, there it is. I think that's Adam Jenkins' dog. He's our animator. I think that was his dog. And. Uh, <laughs> no, actually, I'm still in the <laughs> There was no next week on, but I love Michael Leffler's cameo right there from X-Play. Brilliant!